Life. This week, we start a new unit. This week, we start Manifest Destiny. <laughs> Basically, to put it simply, in the 1800s, especially the early 1800s, the United States of America was obsessed with land. Land. Land, at least back then, and you could argue nowadays as well, land equals power and equals money and equals authority and status. And the more land you have, the more you can do with that land. You know, maybe there's natural resources on that land you could sell. Um, maybe you could farm that land. Maybe nowadays you could put up apartment complexes and rent out the apartments. So land was an important part of this country. Remember, the Native Americans were here first. And the United States government was like, here's the deal. Uh, we want this country to be a big, powerful country. Also, remember, a lot of this land was owned by other countries. Today, we talk about this thing called the Louisiana Purchase, which is part of Manifest Destiny. All right. So here's the deal. Everybody look at this map for a minute. All right. Obviously, it's the United States of America. When the third president, Mr. Thomas Jefferson, was the president, he wanted the United States of America to be a big country. And he had this idea that we would have a lot of farmers in this country, which we did have a lot of farmers. Farmers have played a very important role in the creation of this country. All right. Let me give you a little background first. Before spring break, we were talking about how France in the 1790s had a revolution. And basically all the poor, economically poor people in France rebelled against the rich people in France. And the gentleman named Napoleon took over, Napoleon Bonaparte. And Napoleon needed some money. Napoleon also was at war with England. France and England were always having drama with each other. And remember, France technically owned the middle chunk of what is now the United States of America. And there was a bunch of French fur trappers out here, but they weren't doing a whole lot. France wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot with the middle part of the United States of America. France cared about Louisiana a lot and the port city of New Orleans. But to be honest with you, Napoleon and France didn't really care about Nebraska. Sorry. It's the truth. All right. Anyway, in the year 1803, France, with Napoleon, and the United States of America, led by Thomas Jefferson, basically make the biggest real estate deal in the history of this country. For $15 million, the United States of America would buy from France not just Louisiana, but a bunch of other states as well. I've had some students before who have said, Mr. Pinkerton, it shouldn't have just been called the Louisiana Purchase. It should have been called the Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, New Mexico, Texas, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado purchase. That's a lot of words. I, let's just call it the Louisiana purchase. All right, $15 million, three cents an acre. Heck of a deal. Nowadays, all this land is worth like trillions of dollars, but for $15 million, $15 million the United States of America bought a bunch of states from France, all right? Next thing we're gonna talk about later on in the week and next week is Thomas Jefferson was like, well, we should send some people out to explore all this land. And he sends two gentlemen with their expedition named Lewis, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark out to explore all this land. Remember in the early 1800s, people weren't as informed as they are now. They didn't have the internet or the news and. There were rumors, like people over on the East Coast part of the United States of America thought that like, if you went too, went too far out to Oregon, California, Nevada, there were some people that thought that like, there were still dinosaurs out here. So Lewis and Clark had to go write, it was a science, ex science expedition, write in their journals, what was all out here. So anyway, um, yeah, this week, Manifest Destiny starting with the Louisiana Purchase. Yep, big day today. Miss you all. Thanks for tuning in to Mr. Pinkerton's uh, channel. Oh, by, yeah, by the way, Thomas Jefferson.
main author of the Declaration of Independence, third president. Uh, he was in charge of the Louisiana Purchase and who sent Lewis and Clark out to explore all this land. There were some people that were like, hey, Thomas Jefferson, can we even buy all this land? It doesn't say in the Constitution we can do that. Yeah, we did it anyway, so eh, what are you going to do? On that note, big day, stay safe, wash your hands. See you guys.